Hi, it's January 2nd, 2022, Sunday. I've had, this is my fourth day in a row off work, but unfortunately I've been sick this last few days, so I haven't accomplished much. I've just kind of been resting at home. Um, I'm not going to be testing or any of that bullshit. Um, not into that. I'm not going to be vaccinating. I feel like I need to put that out there because I think some people might still have an expectation that they would be able to convince me to do that. And I won't be doing that voluntarily. Um, doesn't matter what you threaten me with, what you threaten other people with. Um, you want to hurt people, that's your decision. Um, hopefully someone's able to stop that from happening. Um, there's nothing you could reward me with. There's nothing you could give me that would make me agree to do that. Um... You know, AOC posted this. Someone pointed out her hypocrisy going and hanging out in Florida without masks while she supports tyranny elsewhere. Um, she responded with some kind of comment about, ooh, you must just want to have sex with me. It's like, no, <laughs> that's not what's happening here, my friend. Um, these women are very delusional because they've been, they've surrounded themselves with these subservient men who just, their entire mission in life is to placate these women. Um, they just offer them unconditional validation and support, um, for whatever, you know, they never call them on their bullshit. They never, they're never honest. They just... It's what you might call, I think, someone, toxic positivity, I think is a term that's come up. That's that's what these men are. Um, but there's no actual real value there. And in reality, our economy is heading over a cliff. And most of these placating, people-pleasing men are going to be ill-equipped to handle such an event um, emotionally. Someone's going to need to tell them what to do. So, I've written a book. In this book, I included a what-to-do section. Uh, so, the first thing that I would recommend for these men to do is to read my book. And to consider the advice that I offer in that section. Once they've done that, I will welcome them um, back into the discourse uh, that has been taking place, but perhaps they haven't participated in because they've simply been appealing to authorities uh, rather than actually learning information. So, a lot of information has come to the surface, a lot of ideas have formed, a lot of discussion has happened, and if you want to get up to speed, my book is the way to do that. So, I highly recommend for those men that book, and to those women I suggest that you tell those men to read that book because those men need direction. You are their boss. Um, for better or for worse, that is the situation that's developed. Um, I highly recommend that you women... Think 
about the relationships in your lives and what real value those relationships offer and the ways in which you may have hurt people who now aren't going to be happy with you and how you're going to handle that threat. Because government as a protector is going to run out of purchasing power. And if we don't get the free society with the security force that I recommend in my book, people are going to have to take their security into their own hands. So, <sighs> a lot has happened in the last couple days to discredit the narrative relating to COVID. Uh, YouTube and Twitter. YouTube has removed videos that Joe Rogan had with doctors who had insight that could benefit that discourse. And by doing so, have proven that there is no rebuttal towards those who are questioning the narrative. Because those of us who aren't credentialed doctors or scientists are told that our viewpoints are unworthy of consideration because we lack those credentials. But then when someone with credentials appears, now they're silenced. So it's been exposed as a lie. This is reality and where we're at. Twitter banned some congresswoman. I'm not super familiar with her. But again, demonstrating that people are afraid to participate in discourse. Because they have a lot invested in being right. But the longer they go, the more fucking good money they're throwing after bad, man. Sunk costs, wasted efforts. It happens. The thing to do is to stop wasting those efforts, to stop contributing to the suffering of the beings on this planet, to acknowledge your mistakes, to acknowledge your cruelty, to acknowledge your bullying, to humble yourselves before your fellow human beings who you have mistreated. So, I guess that's about that. You know, I got a tax season coming up. I hopefully will recover from my illness soon. I've had a request for an ebook, and when I publish my second edition, I'll plan to publish it also as an ebook. That'll be at a lower price. And I think I'm going to reduce the price of the main book from 20 to 15 to be more in line with just the volume of the book, even though I think there is a lot of high-quality content within that thin volume. Um, I feel like reducing the price would be reasonable, and putting an e-book out there would be reasonable. I didn't want to put an e-book out there originally 
for reasons that I have that I don't need to get into right now. But at this point in the game, I feel comfortable that when I get that second edition complete, that I can publish that as an ebook. And if you're someone who bought a first edition at the higher price, I'll be happy to send you a complimentary copy of the second edition if you wish. Um, cause I don't want you to feel like you're getting ripped off. So that's anyone who's bought it as of now. People buy it after this video. That's their own choice. I still think it's a good value. <laughs> How to solve society's problems. 20 bucks. Problem is, what do you do with that information, right? Even if you read that book and you're convinced that I'm right and that this is the solution, what are you going to do about it? Maybe you got more of a um, following than I have. Maybe you'd have a way to reach more people. Or maybe the fact that you're talking about someone else's ideas rather than your own would lend you credibility. I don't know. But if you don't agree with my solutions, I'd like to hear what you don't agree with. And, you know, my aunt just sent me a extensive feedback email that I, I looked through briefly and, you know, she had some interesting comments. Um, but I don't think she didn't suggest anything substantive as far as, like, changes she would recommend as far as that. But I appreciated that feedback. and Yeah, we'll see who else I get feedback from. Um, I would imagine a number of people have read it by now, so... If you leave an Am if you have read it, I would love it if you left an Amazon review, good or bad. Whether you bought it on Amazon or not, you can still, I believe, log in and leave a review, and that would be really nice, and it would be helpful for other potential buyers to know whether it's something they're interested in and give them more of an idea of what people are taking away from it, things like that. So I would really appreciate anyone who did that. With that... Yeah, so I guess 22 is off to kind of a slow start for me, um, but it's a long year, so you guys have a good one. <laughs>